Hey Virgo, what's up? What's going on? Thank you for clicking on your reading. We're going to hop into it and talk about what I see happening uh, in the connection with you and the person on your mind, whoever comes through the strongest in this reading, okay? We'll see where you're both at right now. And then um, we'll get into what I see happening next in the connection, okay? With that being said, please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it so much. If I resonate, if the reading helps, okay? Of course. But of course, Virgo. Oof. All right, sorry, y'all. I'm getting, I just like kind of got heated up, heated up real quick. <laughs> oh, it's this coffee. All right. I don't know if, I, if me getting heated up is even the correct way of saying it. Okay, sorry, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's super early too, but let's go. Let's go, Virgo. Can you show me whew, Virgo's love interest, person on Virgo's mind? How are they showing up for Virgo right now? How's this person? Showing up in the connection with Virgo. All right. All right. They've got ascending, transcending obstacles. There's like a glare, y'all. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. All right. So, all right. So, your person, they could be elevating in um, different areas of their life right now, Virgo, um, career-wise. Uh, they're over, it looks like they're overcoming, you know, something that was, hold on. Like they're, they could even be graduating, okay? So I'm getting a few things. Graduating, graduating from the school of life even, okay? I'm getting like the world card here with ascending. So they're like, they completed some sort of, you know, cycle in your life. I hate this glare. Sorry, it's like hard for me to see the card. Um... Yeah, your person may have been trying to move Virgo. They overcame that, something like that, okay? Um, show me. For source spirit, show me how Virgo, how does Virgo show up in the connection with who this is, okay? The chaser, all right? Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Okay, Virgo. So, I don't, it looks like you and this person right now are moving in two different directions. Okay. Like you're going, you're going after something here, Virgo. Um, but let's clarify, okay? Right now you could be you know, just like the card says, could be experiencing some codependency. All right. If the shoe does not fit, don't wear it. Okay. Because I had um, a couple people, the last Virgo reading. Um, I can't remember what I was picking up on. But, you know, there were a couple comments um, 
and uh if the comment is rude i'll just take it off like i'm, I'm not going to leave a rude comment sorry i'm just not <laughs> so um if it does not if you don't feel like you're the chaser in a codependent relationship or um if you're not in a place where you can own that then don't own it or don't accept it don't receive it it's fine okay um but it's interesting uh, when I do the readings, if I say say things that are really good, like, you know, I've literally, I literally have seen, you know, this, I'm going to say this right now. Um, I literally have seen um, the same person comment, right? And as long as I say something good, the person's like, oh, you're on point. This is great, yada, yada, yada. But the minute that I say something that may trigger them or they you know feel like that's not them um the reading is off and the reading's wrong and this that and the third you know how about we get to a place where it's just like hey if i don't want to receive that it's all good it's very simple you can just click off the reading all right um because it's just that's fine if something is negative and you automatically feel like it's not for you that's fine okay so with that being said, I'm going to continue the reading here. All right. I know some of you are like, what? Okay. <laughs> here we go. So ascending is um, how your love interest or person on your mind is showing up, Virgo. Um, let's get an animal spirit card for you and your love interest. Here we go. Can you please show me um, how does this person come up in the connection with Virgo right now? How are they coming up in the connection with Virgo the hawk? All right. So um, this absolutely could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Um, your person, the hawk usually shows up when this person has very clear vision, sees things clearly. Okay, I haven't looked at the hawk in a, in a little while. Um, watchful, messenger of divinity, all seeing. Yeah, when in balance, sees clearly, intuitive. Okay, which I feel like is your person. I also feel like there um, may there may have even been a perspective shift with who this is. Okay, they have shifted their perspective on things with you, Virgo. Okay, excuse me. And um, yeah, it says it says seeing the bigger picture. Okay, so this person may be seeing the bigger picture when it comes to you, and I feel like in a good way. Okay. So like they're seeing your side of things, right? Because we have ascending and um, it's kind of like a bird's eye view. Okay. Um, I had, oh, I did a reading last night for a Libra and I really liked this analogy that she used. She said, uh, you know, it's kind of like when you're standing in front of the Empire State Building you can't see the whole building, right? But if you're up above it, you see everything. You see, you know, you see exactly what it looks like, okay? Kind of like a tower, right? Like the tower moment. Um, so I'm getting like there may have been a tower moment here with you and this person. What I mean by that, um, for those of you that aren't familiar, a tower moment is when things fall apart very abruptly, very unexpectedly, okay? And I feel like uh, that's it. So when I got the world card here with Ascending, there, your person, there was like a tower moment between you and who this is, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. And after the tower moment, like when the dust settles, right? The, the building has come down, the dust settles. We can see things. Clearly. So your person is possibly like seeing your perspective, 
Virgo, not just their perspective on things, okay? Um, so that's very positive, okay? And yeah, it literally says learning expansion. It's giving me a lot of Sag energy too. Learning expansion, okay? And when it says preparing for union, I feel like this person wants to connect with you. I feel like they want to have a conversation or at least like like mentally they're they are ready to, you know, have a conversation with you and express how they their thoughts and how they feel. Um, can you clarify Virgo? How's Virgo showing up for who this is right now? All right, the Scorpion. Um Well, I get fear. Um, the scorpion usually shows up when someone is like hot and bothered. Okay, so you know what's interesting? Remember when I said I was getting heated up? That's what the scorpion talks about. Okay, when I was like getting heated, maybe... Beyonce has a song. She's a Virgo, right? With a Scorpion moon, right? Heated. All right. So something tells me that like you're not in this, in that same space with where your person's at Virgo. The Scorpion usually shows up when you're still needing to forgive or you're not forgiving. Um... fear of abandonment issue so hold on it just it just came to me I, I feel like you're right now you're acting um if this is truly resonating Virgo how you're showing up in this connection is you're acting from a place of fear okay um what do I mean by that you're running away that's what it looks like to me, even though like the chaser, remember I said, it feels like you all are moving in two different directions. Um, I, I, I feel like your person, they are in a place where they're ready to share how they, you know, understand your perspective, see things from your perspective, but you're still like a little pissed off maybe about what about the tower moment about what happened okay and you're just not in that place um you're you're not if i can say it like this right now you and this person um you're not a vibrational match right now because the hawk I feel ascending with the hawk, this is someone who they're on a higher vibration in this situation, not in life. Okay. But in this situation, they, yeah, that's why, that's why you two aren't connecting. They're just on a, on a higher vibration right now. They're in a different place. I'll say it like that. Um, but you're not in that space with who this is and that's okay. Um, I was having a conversation with uh, a friend of mine the other day about vibrations. Um, lower vibrations, higher vibrations, they there's no wrong or right. They they just exist and that's okay. Um, so I want to clear that clear that up too. Um yeah, so <clears throat> you're you're Yeah, I don't think you've forgiven this person. Um, and I think that you, uh, there's also a level of paranoia here with the scorpion energy coming up. You're you're possibly a bit paranoid about what's going on. You know, um, and you're, 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 you're moving away from this because you're just, you're done right now. It's still, you know, 
something still hurts. It still stings. So you're ready to kind of like sting back with that with that scorpion energy. Okay. Can you please uh, clarify how this person, I'm about to call you Scorpio, how this person is showing up in the connection with Virgo? Can you please clarify how this person is showing up in the connection with Virgo? Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, Four of Wands. You got the devil. I feel like this person is showing up like the devil because you're still like you're pissed with them. But I also just heard like this is another vibration of theirs. So this is also one of their lower vibrations in this connection with you. Where you all do meet. Where you all are a vibrational match, Virgo. So to some degree, this person could be um, obsessing about what's happening with you two. Confused. All right. Um, I think they're ready to move forward with you, but they're still stuck, you know, Um So that this is like the vibration that you all meet on, Virgo, is this devil energy. Because there's a lack of understanding between you two. There's a lack of forgiveness. And um, there's a lack of clarity, all right? Okay, hold on. Let me ask a question. Can you please show me, um, and this is also Scorpio energy, it's, it's Capricorn too, all right? But your person, whoever this is, Virgo, they, I feel like they want to move past this. Um... Can you clarify Virgo in this connection with who this is? Okay. Strength. All right. So this would be a, interestingly enough, a higher vibrational point <laughs> for you on your side of things. Okay. So Leo energy, um, I think for you, Virgo, you know yourself, all right, and I don't know that it's necessarily easy for you to um, stay quiet with who this is. I think that that's actually difficult, okay? And a part of you is exhibiting a level of strength, you know, by not saying anything right now. All right. Yeah, by not going after this person. Could be some pride, you know, it's Leo energy. So there could be some pride here on your side. Um, and yeah, you could say, sure, there's been some sort of perspective shift on your person's side, but you're still hurt. You're still hurt. 
That's why I said, just because it's a lower vibration doesn't make it wrong. That's just where you're at. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, my dad's a Virgo and he, al he always says, knowing is half the battle. So know thyself, right? If I know that I'm still pissed with this person, yes, they can have a perspective shift. That's awesome. But um, I'm still a little pissed off. So <laughs> tell your perspective shift to go fuck themselves, right? Like, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just like, I'm just making light. I'm just laughing, okay? Um, yeah. Let's see. I forgot. So I've changed the reading up. I don't know if you've noticed. Okay. Let's see what, um, what outside factor on this person's side plays a, um, how did I phrase it? What is a dominant outside factor that on, on Virgo's love interest side, on this person's side, what is a dominant outside factor on their side that affects this connection? Okay. Sudden wealth. Hmm. Your person did have ascending. Sudden wealth. You've got marriage. And you've got concern. Sudden wealth. Okay, so part of um, Virgo, what I'm hearing. Oh, remember I said they may have, um, they've overcome some sort of obstacle. Okay, so just using this as an example, Virgo, maybe that your person like um, overcame some sort of financial struggle. They're in a better place financially. All right. Um, they may, th things have just been going, um, better for them. Um, let me see, because I'm getting learning expansion. Remember I got Sag? Okay, so Sag is Jupiter. So there could be something here where, yeah, your person like is experiencing, um, and connecting, like multiple things in their lives, Virgo, are changing for the better, okay, quite possibly, all right? So it may be easier for this person to have a perspective shift, okay, on life because Life is going good. You know, there's different things happening for your person. They're experiencing new opportunities. And um, with that, they may also be in this like different, different place, you know, when it comes to you two, like, you know, I don't know. I just see them like, you know, this is going good. This is going good. But, you know, hey, I'd like to kind of, figure this out with Virgo too. Yeah, all of this is going good. Um, maybe they've even received like a wealth of knowledge, Virgo, to help them understand, you know, what's happened with you too. Can you please um, show me what is a dominant outside factor that is affecting disconnection on Virgo side was the dominant outside factor on Virgo side that affects this connection expectation mm -hmm. if that don't look like you Virgo look do better Virgo's like I'm expecting better okay <laughs> um I don't know that, um, 
Hold on a second. I feel like this is you. All right. Um. Hmm. Or this could be, you know, Virgo. Is this you or somebody else? There may be someone else here, Virgo, that it has, okay, there's some, that has their own expectations out of the situation and it affects the connection. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to, trying to make it make sense. Um, but if this is, you know, this is you, there's something about this person, like not meeting your expectations or not meeting your requirements in the connection. Okay. And that plays a big factor. You have certain expectations, you have certain requirements here, um, But I'm also getting like this is an outside person on your side, Virgo, that um, you're feeling like you need to meet this person's expectations. Like maybe you have told who this is, right? You know, with the scorpion energy, you've confided in someone else here. And... Um, I'm getting like this person playing a role. You know, you have conversations with who this is and they could be telling you, this person, for example, too, Virgo, could be telling you like, Virgo, you're expecting too much right now of this situation. Um, Virgo, you, this, you know, this does not meet your expectations. Okay. That doesn't meet your requirements. And it's like, whoever this is, is like, could be telling you like, whoever this is, Virgo, this person could be telling you, hold on, to like stand your ground or you'll know when to move forward with this person, when they meet your expectations, okay? I feel like whoever this is too is like affirming certain expectations that you should have, all right? And I don't know necessarily that, that it's a bad thing. It can be a good thing. I think you also like, I don't know, Virgo, I'm also getting two with the chaser. Um, like for some reason, you're wanting to meet this person's expectations of you in this connection. Like if you told who this is, uh, Virgo, if you confided in someone and said, hey, you know, X, Y, Z is not doing whatever, whatever, whoever this is, it's like they're they're telling you like, um, you should not settle for that, you know, and so... I think some of you don't want to disappoint someone else here. This could be a, a a mother figure. This could be a father figure. This can be just some sort of feminine, um, you know, uh, I almost got divine, divine feminine, um, someone you respect, okay? a friend, someone who's supportive as well, all right?
Yeah. I'm getting that with the strength card. This is someone who that you may confide in who is giving you, helping you with the level of strength here. Um, and kind of saying like, hold on. They may be telling you, Virgo, like, you're so upset. You need to just, like, chill out for a minute, okay? Um, all right, Virgo, so that's what I'm getting right now. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it, Virgo, so... Let's see. All right, this is what we're going to get into in your extended. Addiction came out as I said that. All right. Clarify Virgo's person. How's this person showing up next for Virgo in the connection? Okay, lightning. Wanted to come right up. Sudden change. Shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Hmm. That's good. Show me how Virgo shows up next in this connection, universe source. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Coffin is a tricky one. So, Coffin is a tricky one. Shocking news and Coffin. I feel like this person received shocking news about you, Virgo. I don't know. We'll see. This is interesting. We'll see, Virgo. We're going to talk about this in your extended, but I kind of get like either your person received shocking news about you or you receive shocking news about your person. And I feel like the, there is, there is a sudden change. Okay. But if this truly resonates and you feel like you can benefit from um, hearing what I pick up next, okay? Because that's this energy is really specifically who is going to watch part two, okay? Um, so, yeah, we're going to talk about this. Of course, Virgo, we're going to pull your advice in this situation, in this connection. All right, how should you be moving forward with who this is? Um, let's see, to get the best results in your love life right now or... Just in this connection, we're going to pull how you all, we're going to clarify how you all show up next. All, you know, basically everything I did here, but, you know, obviously what happens next. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm sorry, y'all. It's early. And definitely pull how you all are showing up um, and want to show up for each other next and um, what this person wants the outcome to be and what outcome I get here at this point. So Virgos, if you feel like that helps, if it resonates and you um, think it'll uh, serve you, then click the links below for Vimeo in the description top of the comments to watch part two of the reading. If this is where we part ways, Virgo, love you guys. I wish you all the best with everything. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.